and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you my pirate party haul. to show you my pirate party haul but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and would like to see more then I upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. so don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one so the first item that I brought was this Wilkinson's pirate ship this was £10 from Wilkinson's, so not too expensive, and I thought that I could use this as part of the centrepiece on the food table. So in the middle of our kitchen is an island, and that's what we use to lay out all the food for our guests. And I thought as part of that, I could put this in the middle of it, and we've got some shelves on our shelf. So I was going to put the shelves around the outside and make it look as though the ship has crashed into the rocks. I also thought that Ted could help me build this before the party starts as well. So we'll give him something to do and he can show people when they come in what he's built. Hopefully he won't want to play with it, touch wood, and dismantle it before the party starts. Um, but yeah, I thought this would look really nice in the middle of the table. So the next two items that I brought were some black card from the works for a pound and a cake stand. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these now. The cake stand which I just showed you I brought from Amazon and I used it as part of Ted's birthday cake as you can see here. Then I brought black card and I made it into a boat base and then I put these two together. Finally I brought mermaid tails and pirate flags from Amazon too and I put these into the cakes. I've made a video on how to do this which I will link below in the description box. So the next item that I brought were these pirate pencils and notepads and these were $4.99 for a pack of six and then I also brought some mermaid notepads and pencils and these were $4.99 but these were $4.99 for a pack of 12 so I don't know what happened there but if I can find these products I will link them in the description box below for you and then the next item that I got were these party bags so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these now so the notepads and pencils will be going into the party bags and to identify between the boys and the girls I've decided to put a picture of a mermaid on one and a picture of a pirate on another party bag. I did this by visiting Google and getting pictures of a pirate and a picture of a mermaid. It's okay to do this because it's not for commercial use so that's fine. Then I printed them out and cut them to fit onto the bags. Once I'd cut the pictures, I then began to stick them with glue to the bags and that's my party bags done. Also to go inside the party bags, I brought these bear sours. Ted absolutely loves these, so I thought the other children might enjoy them in their party bag as well. Um, they were £2.10 in Sainsbury's today. Um, sometimes these are on offer. Today they weren't. Sometimes they go down to £2. Um, they've got about six in each packet, so that's perfect amount for what I need. So, yeah, these are going to go inside the party bag. So the next item that I ordered from Amazon were these Calamian card swords. These were $6.99 for a pack of six. So I thought that was really inexpensive. And what I thought the children could do is when they arrive, they can come and sit at the kitchen table and colour one of these in. And then they can go out in the garden and play with them if they want to. I thought this could be part of the party bag as well. Um, I just thought it was a really nice idea. I actually got the idea from Pinterest, but they had a sword bucket in their back garden. And I looked on Amazon for like plastic saws for little boys to play with and stuff but I actually found these so I thought this was a much better idea because it gives them an activity to do before they play with it so yeah if I can find this product I will link it in the description box below for you and then I got some balloons I got these from the card factory our local card shop in our high street these were 
59 per bag and you can't have a party without some balloons so that's why I've got them so yeah I'm gonna stick these on the front door so everybody knows where the party is and there'll be a few inside the house to decorate the house as well and then I also brought some gift tags from Amazon and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these now the gift tags I've just shown you I'm going to use as part of a game the children can play when they arrive so I've printed a sheet with a little explanation as to why the toys are in hiding and can the children help to find them. The gift tags will be used like a name badge. They will have a corresponding number on them. The children will have to write down when they found the right toy for the right number. So for example, Bob the Hippo is number one and the kids will have to write down Bob next to the number one. When they have found all the toys, there will be a pro. I also brought these, so these will be part of the party. I brought some coloured beads from the works and I brought some string. And I thought when the girls arrive, if they want to, they can make themselves like a bracelet with the coloured beads. Um, these were only a pound from the work, so I bought two bags and this was 4 99 I think, from Amazon. So a really cheap and inexpensive activity for girls to do or even boys if they want to. So I'm also going to make my own sweet cones as well. So when the kids find all of Ted's missing crew, I'm going to give them a sweet cone as a prize. So that can be part of the party bag as well. Um, I'm going to be making my own and I bought these from Amazon unfortunately I had to buy a hundred of them but I think these were about $1.99 for a hundred they're just clear plastic bags that are shaped in a cone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these sweets to them and these are sugar-free sweets I got these in my local farm shop, but I have also seen them in Holland and Barrett as well. They're a bit more expensive in Holland and Barrett, I have to say. And I have also seen them sold on Amazon as well, but sometimes Amazon is a bit cheeky and they sell them for more than the shops do. Um, Ted really likes these, he's eaten these already, and they do taste just like sweets as well, but they have no chemical nasties in. And the reason I bought these is simply because we have one or two children coming who have allergies to things. So I thought these were a bit nicer to give than the normal sweet cones. So in these, um, the flavors in these are cola bottles. You can also buy pear drops, and you can also buy midget gems. Um, lollipops and I think that's it so I've got lots of different bags and I'm gonna put them inside I'm gonna evenly spread them across these sweet cones and then I'm gonna give these as prizes and if I can find these on Amazon or anywhere I will link them in the description box below for you so that's my pirate party theme haul and that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below Below. Have your children had birthday parties this year or in the past and what did you do for them? I'd love to know and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye!